Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapniewski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel. So this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to take the audio out of Audacity and import it into your iPad. This way you can work with it in LumaFusion. So if you decide to do a microphone review or if you need any audio out of Audacity, it's just a one, two, three, easy, simple process, getting it over into your iPad and editing it with your video in LumaFusion. Fusion. So the best part about doing all of this, the different tools that I use, everything is free. It's free! So of course you guys know Audacity is completely free. Thank you to the ladies and gentlemen over at Carnegie Mellon for making this an open source software because it is absolutely an amazing audio editing program that gives you so many abilities. Then the second tool that you're going to need is an app called phone drive this is free as well up to a certain amount of storage so if you go over that amount of storage then they're looking to charge you but my best advice is once you're done importing that audio and you don't need it or you've put it where it needs to be or you're holding it up in your iCloud drive just erase it out of that app this way you're always going to have plenty of room in there you're never going to need to pay for storage in phone drive so I am just going to walk you guys through the steps on how to get the audio out of Audacity into your iPad. It's simple. Believe you me. Listen, if I can figure this out, you guys, easy peasy for you, I promise. So let's get on this. Okay, guys. So the first thing that you need to do is obviously make an audio recording, which I've already done. The second thing that you need to do is save the project which I've already done. And I showed you in a previous video how to work Audacity. So if you don't know how to work Audacity, go check out my other video that teaches you how to use it. It's really an instructional and it's about making a cheap microphone sound really good. So if you haven't checked that out yet, please do. So the third step is now we're going to export this audio, but we need to do it in an MP3 format. So we go to file. Now we go to export and we're going to hit export as an MP3. It's going to ask if we want to save this with this name. So we just are going to hit save and then it's going to ask us for additional if we want to add tags or values. I never do. So then I just hit OK. So now this project is going to be saved as an MP3 file. So now we're going to minimize this. Okay, so let's go to our documents where the exports are stored. Documents, exports, and here is the file. Exporting audio is what I named it. So now the next steps that we need to take involve grabbing the iPad. So let me go ahead and get that set up. Okay, the very next step is that we're going to launch Phone Drive on your iPad. So we're going to go ahead and just hit Phone Drive. And sometimes there's because it's a free app, it does hit you with advertisements here and there. Now we want to sync this with the device that we've used Audacity with. I'm using it on a laptop. Uh, this also works if you have a desktop. So we're just going to hit this icon in the lower right hand side of the screen. And this is going to bring up an advertisement. So we're just going to go ahead and X our way out of that. Now this is going to give us a few different options on how we can sync the different hardware that we're working with. It's gonna ask us, is it from smartphone to smartphone or is it from smartphone to your iCloud? But we are doing a tablet and basically a computer. Okay, so this is going to give you an instructional window on how you can sync your two devices together. And as you can see, it's pulled up the IP address of my iPad. So now what I want to do, because I have this app and I'm able to do it, I'm going to go onto Google, launch Google, and type in the IP address of my iPad. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is to launch Google. Now we just want to type in the IP address that the device is showing you that is the designated IP address for either your smartphone or your iPad. And because I've done it before, it just brings it up right away. And obviously, I'm going to have to Gaussian blur my way out of that one because I don't need to get hacked by you guys. Okay, so when you bring this up, this is what it's going to look like. And you see this little square box right here? 
this is what we're going to drop the files over in. It's literally a drag and drop program. So what I need to do is minimize this, okay? And I want to pull this bar over so the drag and drop screen is showing. I want to highlight and grab the audio that I want okay see how I have it like this now you just bring it over into this window and just drop it there and what it's going to do is bring it over into your iPad and you should be ready to go so let's go check it out and just like that it's a miracle God bless these people who knew how to do coding because uh, I never could do this but here it is that's the file that was on the laptop and now it's sitting in the iPad without having to go through zips and unzips and emails and downloading and all of this confusing stuff. It is really, really simple. Like I said, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So now what we want to do is save this particular file into my iCloud drive, which is where I save everything. So we just want to hit edit and we want to choose that one. Now we're going to hit this file right down here, right in the middle. This is going to ask us what we want to open it in. And I always hit save to file. Now this is either going to save it to the files on your iPad or it's going to save it to the files on your iCloud drive. If you have an iCloud drive, you should store it there. And now this is going to bring up all the files on my iPad and I'm added to my folder that I have for all the gear stuff that I do. And let me just go and make sure that it is there. This is just going to be a demonstration on how we can export our audio from Audacity over into our iPad. It's amazing. So that's it. You guys, it was that simple. Just a few quick and easy, simple steps. Getting your audio into your iPad to edit with your video in LumaFusion, super easy. Like I said, if I can figure it out, anybody can figure it out. And all of the tools that we're using are absolutely free, with the exception of LumaFusion. And like I said, LumaFusion probably is the best 20 bucks I ever spent in my life. Well, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. And if you have any questions about any of these things that I'm discussing, please feel free to go ahead ahead and leave your questions in the comment section below and I will get to you just as soon as I can and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you found any of this helpful. I appreciate you for watching and I will see you next time and until then wear your sunblock.